Hello everybody. <laughs> I've done this a few times now, but um, we are in Eagle River right now. We are traveling around Alaska a little bit and we are packing up camp. We're getting everything going. They have worked really hard. This is like the nicest the camper has looked the whole time. We have it all ready to go. We just got to pull the slide in and pull the chocks. We went to Chuck E. Cheese the other day and Chuck E. Cheese is just like for smaller kids really and Natalie and Landon are excited to try Dave and Buster's out so we're gonna go there for just a little bit and then I believe we're gonna head on to Houston. It is a beautiful RV park there. Um, very safe and uh, just more woodsy to do like the just chill at the campsite versus like what we've been doing here. Here we have basically just been like staying here and then leaving during the day. Um, coming back and the kids play a little bit and they get that camping feel and, and we get to relax as like husband and wife just like chill by the fire and decompress from like all the busyness that has been so wonderful I highly recommend if you have a camper or you can rent a camper do that do that as a vacation because it has been so it's it's been nice I am somebody that gets very overwhelmed what was I don't know there was one day where I had just not slept a lot and I was like just overstimulated because family vacations are not restful, okay? <laughs> but I finally got a good night's sleep and I am feeling like so much better. Yesterday was so fun. If you haven't seen the vlog, go check it out. Um, it's actually a few days of vlog, but we got to go to a water park yesterday with the kids, which was a blast and they were so tired. Anyways, all right, um, we're gonna get this place packed up, finished packing up. Lance is like waiting for me because I was like, I wanna get some of that footage of like the fun <laughs> pulling the things and pulling out and I love that. So I am rocking the mom camper bun today because we're just headed to Houston. We are going to Dave and Buster's and all that, but I was like, yeah, we're running low on water and <laughs> and uh, the campsite we're going to has full hookups, which is, it's amazing to not hear generators. Again, somebody across the way the first like three nights, three nights, two or three nights, I don't know. They had this like $60,000 trailer, brand new. And what do they have? They have some $300 construction site, loud generator they were running at 5 a.m. <laughs> That is one nice benefit to um, parking in an RV park that has full hookups is you don't have to hear those generators. So, okay, that's all the complaining you're gonna get from me today. We're gonna go finish packing up for real this time. <laughs>
just got done at the mall. The kids had a blast at Dave & Buster's. That place is a little bit overwhelming to me. I enjoy going with Lance because I don't have to worry about anybody, but the loud noises, I'm trying to keep track of my kids. <laughs> That's a lot, but they had fun. Lance enjoys taking with that type of stuff and I'm grateful for that. Um, we were just, we put the generator, it's like a $3,000 generator, <laughs> and it was just sitting in the back of his truck. So we just caught it. We put it in the camper while we were in there, just got it in there. All right, we also uh, are gonna stop at Krispy Kreme because have to do that again. Thanks for going to Dave and Buster's with the kids. No. Mm -hmm. okay, well, I don't think you're in the shot. You're way too tall. Yeah. Again, if you're new here, I'm 5'4", he's like 6'4". The height difference. <laughs> Brother <and> wife. <laughs> All right, let's go get some Krispy Kreme and head to Houston. We got here to Houston, Alaska at the Riverside RV Park, I believe is what it is. Oh my goodness, they're shooting rocket launchers. I actually was not feeling very good. My stomach was just like hurting. Probably all the junk we've been eating. That's probably all it is. Um, a little bit of like, just the stress of like family vacation. So I lay down for a little while once we got here. Lance made some hot dogs on the grill. I still need to put that out. Um, and the kids are just like playing. It is. Uh, my watch is dead. Camper life. <laughs> I 
everything, the batteries are dead on everything all the time. It's 9.35 at night. Like, look how beautiful this is. This is one of my favorite RV parks with full hookups. Um, it's so safe. There's a river like right here. The weather was actually supposed to be like rain and lightning, I think, and it has turned into such a beautiful night. We're letting the kids just like stay up. This is the last night of the Anchorage trip. And so we're just letting them play. I don't think we're gonna be in a huge hurry to get out of here, but. <laughs> oh my word. I do want to give a little shout out to this campground because it is so beautiful like so much nicer than anything Anchorage has and safer I should say <laughs> this is only an hour out of Anchorage and it is so beautiful here I love it they were super nice because there was like a I don't know what you call them a full-timer that was living over there and I was like I don't really want to look at somebody's stuff outside of their camper so I was like hey do you mind if we move I was very nice about it um I didn't say anything about why we're moving. I was just like, hey, could we move spots possibly like closer down there? Um, they do have Wi-Fi at this building. So if you're close to that building, you can get the Wi-Fi. I don't think it's very good service out here, which is totally fine with us. This is our last night. I'm not worried about being on any type of social media. My voice is definitely still going in and out. It's driving me nuts. Every time I like don't talk for like a couple minutes, it goes out and I just can't even say anything. Lance got a fly fishing pole. He has never fly fished in his life and he has always wanted one. So he got a fly fishing pole and he's down at the river testing it out, but he would never let me film him because he's like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So just know him and Natalie are down at the river. Me and the, the boys and Addison are just chilling here. Such a beautiful night. A couple things that this campground has is they have like two pavilions. There's one here and one down here and then they have like a little play set here it's just a really i mean just like what i picture a perfect full hookups campsite you you feel like you're in the woods you can go down the river the river is so much higher i know it's not a river i think it's a slough i don't know what it is way higher than it was last year they also have like a fire pit area that you can use like a nice fire pit with like chairs um, all the sites obviously come with like a table and I think there's a fire pit over here and it's like an Alaskan fire pit with like a little Alaskan in the side and a bear paw. Are you having fun? Yeah. Is this the best? Yeah. Mm. How about you Tux? You having fun? Yeah. Oh good. We're just gonna hang out for the night. It was so warm when we first got here but our camper does have AC now because there's hookups, there's full electric, so we were able to use our air conditioner for the first time, and it was like 75 to 80 degrees in Anchorage the whole time we were there. Luckily, when you opened all the windows, it would cool down, but it was 85 degrees when we would get in the camper, and it was just so hot. Lance has a part coming for that, so we're gonna have it for our next trip, which is in like three days. <laughs> But the next trip is going to be my favorite camping. It's actual camping where we're going to be out at Birch Lake. We're going to hang out. We're going to just not do life. The kids could just play. Lance can go out on the boat. Like it is like full reset for me. So I'm really excited about that. We will have AC to be able to at least cool down the camper. But anyways, all right. Well, I am going to end this one. Thank you guys for coming along on our little Anchorage slash Eagle River trip. Um, we, they all had a blast. I'm ready to like sleep in my own bed for a couple nights and just reset and then go back out and just not, not do life. <laughs> not have to run around. Um, I enjoy all of it, but I'm ready for that. So, all right. Thank you guys for coming along. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.